Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer files from your iPod or iPhone to, uh, well, specifically iPod Touch. Um, it has to be jailbroken, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You guys have to have two programs. Um, call one from installer called OpenSSH. You have to have a jailbroken iPod to do this. Um, the only reason I'm posting the video for this is because most softwares to transfer files from your iPod to the computer to save to save your files before you do a restore is about thirty dollars and I almost had to do that before I found this way. Um so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the easy way. Alright, so you're gonna have to get open SSH and then you're gonna have to get WinScape Win S C P. If you don't have Windows you can't do this either. You have to try try to find a Mac version. So you're just trying to find uh an SSH SSH program or an FTP pro FT FTP program for your um for a Mac, but this right now is for a Windows. Okay. Um, once you do the SSH, you're going to have to plug your iPod in, and once you're done plugging your iPod in, you have to type in your IP address into the host key. I'm not showing you that right now, because my IP address is private, well, everyone's is, and I'm not putting that up, so I'm, so I'm just at this next screen, and what you got to do is you got to type in your IP address, and for your username, it's going to be root, password's going to be alpine. I'll put up the stuff just in case you guys forget, and just to show correct spelling. Alright, once you get past that, it's just going to take about 30 to 40 seconds. If it takes more than a minute, then click abort and just click retry and you should get right in. Um, if it doesn't work, just make a video response, show me what's wrong, or just comment. Alright, well now that you're, now you're going to be into your iPod Touch. So you're going to have to click up. Sorry about that. Okay. And remember, this has to be connected for the first time. For the first time, it has to be connected. Alright, then you're going to go to mobile. Then you're gonna go to media. Oh, sorry. What the hell? Oh, man, this thing just froze. Oh, never mind. I went to the right one. Sorry. You're supposed to go to media. Sorry. My computer just got very, very messed up. All right. Then you're gonna gonna go to iTunes control. Then you're gonna go to music. And it says music, but there's movies and music in here. So just take it, drag it to desktop. Or wherever you want to save it to, just click browse, save it to any file, whatever, and just click copy. I'm not gonna copy. I already have a backup, and it's probably take a while. It's probably gonna take about, probably about an hour to an hour and a half, but it's better than paying thirty bucks. And um, it depends on it depends on how much stuff you have though. Like if you have about like fifteen or twenty songs and a lot of movies, it's gonna take a while because there's a lot of movies. But um, if you have like an even amount, it's still it's still gonna take long. So it just if you this is if you have a lot or a little, doesn't really matter. Okay, and then if you want to save your applications too, before you do anything, if you want to save your applications, you gotta go to applications. Sorry, my my uh, computer is very very messed up today. I don't know what the problem is. All right, well here are all your here's everything you have. Well, everything I have, but this is this would be everything you guys have. All your apps, just take them and just copy them like you did with the uh, music and movies. All right, well um. I'm going to post the jailbreaking video in about three days and showing you guys how to win pwn, uh 2.0.1, 2.0.0. And <coughs> if you want to do 1.1.4, you're going to have to um, just watch Z, uh, Zyphone. Just do, just type in Zyphone. It's pretty user-friendly. It's very, very easy. All right, so um, I'll see you guys in three days when I post a new video.